But, but don't forget, you put $90 billion, mm -hmm. like 50 years worth of breaks into, into solar and wind, to, 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 to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers. Uh, obviously, it was a bit disheartening that a presidential candidate would, would take time out of the debates to, to attack Tesla. In fact, in two, in two of the three debates, um, I thought that was, that was a bit unreasonable. And one of the things he did was um, he actually called us a loser. Um, I mean, and, and we're, we're a company that has generated 3,500 uh, high-quality jobs in the United States. Thank, thank you for supporting Tesla through this difficult period. Thank you. Yeah. So. But it, 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 now, that, now that Model 3 production is going pretty well, um, we're finally uh, allocating engineering attention to the solar roof as well as the solar retrofit. Um, I'm pretty excited about both the solar tile roof and the solar retrofit and the uh, power wall. Like, and part of the reason we can also can make power walls, we, we, we I couldn't make enough cells. So we had to allocate cells to the car or to the power wall. It's like, well, we've got to make cars. So then power wall got some cell star, basically. Um, but 2019, so we are now going to ramp it up. Um, and then power pack. So power pack is kind of like our industrial strength uh, uh, battery storage system.